Where is my girl? There she is. Ah, you look gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> you get, are you an AKA? Because you're giving me all this AKA energy with these colors. No, I am not. Okay, so literally when I saw the inauguration today, I was like, okay, everybody wearing these pastel colors. When I go to bed, I'm going to wear my pastel onesie. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness how was your day overall it was a beautiful day because of the news <laughs> it was it was a beautiful day i felt amazing i was crying because i was like first of all she's the youngest inaugural poet so anybody after her all these young girls black girls mm -hmm. can look at her and say okay if she can do it i can do it absolutely so i was just like oh my god that's amazing and like her words just of saying like we've all had to like climb this hill. All of us mm -hmm. had to climb this hill and we're still climbing. Mm -hmm. But today is a great day because now people can see that, wow, okay, we can overcome with love. It doesn't have to be all this hate and violence. We can overcome with love. And I was like, this is a beautiful day. I wanted to, I wanted to tell you, um, that I, when I got off, off the rehearsal yesterday, I got out of rehearsal yesterday, I called my mother and I was like, I can't believe I got this incredible cast. Like, oh. I didn't get a chance to necessarily pick them, but it was like, God picked them. They were just like, I was really impressed, just truly blown away. And I wanted to say about you specifically, what I loved and I was, cause I was nervous about your character. Cause I said, I don't want anybody to come in and be a caricature of like, just over the top, <laughs> you know? Like, right. it's not that. She's a real person. She just has a big personality. And mm -hmm. I thought you you told that line so beautifully. I, I believe every word you said. Um, and I was telling Carmia, because you know, she's a young actress, you know, she's still cutting her teeth on this. But I was like, the best way to know that you're you're doing what you need to be doing is if you believe yourself. You have okay. to believe yourself. Mm -hmm. Like at some point, when does the acting stop? Because these are real kind of stories, these are real. I feel like people have definitely experienced this in life. I know some of the stuff I've, I've experienced and you just have to be honest. It's really not about your acting skills. Like this particular piece for me is just so not about that. And like, she's that type of friend to like, be real with you. Yeah. Like, this is real. This is this like, all right, she's going to give you the, you know, the foo-foo version, but I'm going to give you the real version. Like, I'm mm -hmm. not going to beat around the bush because... Mm -hmm. You a grown ass woman, just like I'm a grown ass woman. We gonna mm -hmm. keep it straight. We gonna keep it 100. So I like that. And I was like, I was thinking of it. I was like, I have to use that. <laughs> what is your connection even with, I know Sunday is one of the first people you speak to mm -hmm. in this piece. Mm -hmm. What is your connection to the other women? How do you feel you play a role with them outside of just keeping it real? Is it motherly? Is it big sister? Do you think you're older? Is it because you had kids that maybe that informed? You know, not necessarily this particular moment, but like just your interaction, because after that, you, we, you've already told us you had DD. So I, after that, I, you know. I don't know. even think I'm old, older than everyone. Yeah. Like I'm right you in that. Life experiences and that four makes them older. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, don't even, I don't even think I'm older. Like I've just, like I'm right in that middle. Mm -hmm. Like I'm right in that, I'm like that middle age where I'm like, I would say early 30s. Yeah. I would say 30, I would say 33, 34. Okay. Where yeah. I'm still a young adult. I'm still, you know, I can still you be- You just had your baby young. Right. I just had my right. baby young. Like, you know, but, um, but yeah, I like how I interact with Sunday. She is like my little sister, you know, mm -hmm. like we are close. Yeah. The other girls, like I know them from class and mm -hmm. I think we all, of course we all, like the script says, we all stay together because we are all black women. Mm-hmm. So we have that connection. You know how like when you just hang, when you're just around a black woman, like or one of another black person, you just have that instant connection. Instant connection. Yeah. Like it's it's just instant. Like and no one no one else can explain it. You guys can't even explain it yourself. It's just it's, it's, it's like an it's, understanding okay. that we are going through the same experiences when we walk out the door. It's just right. a sisterhood. It's a natural sisterhood. So I get that. I, I buy that. Okay, I buy that. Let's get into yours then. I ain't never called a nigga daddy before. No, <laughs> but he earned it. He was into that emotional shit, you know? And he was smart too. Ooh. He even gave my feet a squeeze on a hard day. 
he had to drop out of the eighth grade because, you know, uh, daddy got a temper or whatever, but he was a hustler, always able to pay his mama's bills and give me a promise ring, you know, like FUBU. <laughs> Feel the difference? Feeling different. Yes. Yes, it's, it's definitely, it's right there. Now I'm going to pull you back a little bit more, okay. a little bit less, a little bit less.